welcome to the yoga pantry with me Natasha today we're going to do a um, sequence to work on uh, tenseness in the chest the face and the neck so we're gonna just work on our upper body and loosen it all up so grab your mat put on some comfy clothes and let's get to it chair if you'd like. Let's extend our arms to the sky, interlace the fingers, stretch out, breathe into it, just find some lovely movement, just loosen up out there and release. Little cat stretch, exhale round the back, chin towards the chest, rock back on the pelvis, inhale, expand the heart, open, Exhale, move at your own pace. Feel that movement through the pelvis, up the spine, loosening up all the way to the crown of the head. If you'd like more action, bring your arms in, open as you breathe in. And exhale, bring those palms together, rounding the back. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Extend those arms and exhale, neutral spine. Bring your fingertips to your shoulders. Drop those elbows down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. One more in this direction. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Move back the other way. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Inhale. Up. And exhale. Roll out the shoulders, release. Bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers and draw those shoulder blades in towards your heart. Draw your arms away. If this is super tight for your shoulders, just grab a strap instead and hold on to that strap. It'll give you more space, more room. Breathe into it. If it feels okay, drop the chin down towards the chest. Relax your face, relax your eyes, relax your jaw. Inhale, lift. And release. Loosen all of that up. I want you to give yourself a hug and then rock from side to side. Breathe into it. And open out. Give yourself a hug the other way and rock side to side. shoulders. I'm going to take those shoulders up to the ears. Squeeze it up, squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in and let it go. Again. Let it go. Again. Let it go. One more time. And let it go. Drop your chin down to your chest. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale over to the right shoulder. Gazing over that right shoulder. And then lengthen out the side of the neck by dropping your ear behind the right shoulder. Lips together, relax the face. Back to center. And just 45 degrees, just a smidge, and drop your chin down. Take a look at your chest. Shoulders relax, let them draw down the back. Inhale up. 
back to center. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up again, lips together, relax the eyes. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale over towards that left shoulder. And then drop the ear behind the left shoulder, really stretching out the side, the right side of your neck. Let the shoulders draw down, shoulders nice and heavy. Inhale back to uh, back up and then just a smidge, 45 degrees, drop down to look at your chest. Inhale to neutral, back to center. And then inhaling up. Exhaling down. Roll around to the right shoulder, gently roll up. And you can be as big or as small with these movements as you like. Moving through a full rotation all the way around. Keep your face relaxed the whole time. Try not to concentrate. Don't furrow the brow. Don't scrunch the eyes. And relax your jaw. And we're going to start to reverse that rotation back the other way. If you get dizzy while you do this, uh, keep your eyes open or stop, swallow your saliva, tap your chest, see if that makes you feel better and then you can have another go. Start your time, just feel your way through, you might find little pockets of tension and tightness, you might have a massive soundtrack of grinding, grunching, rattling. back to center and then we're going to drop our ear down to our side any side it's all good inhale up exhale to the other side keep those shoulders heavy inhale up drop down to the center interlace your fingers rest the hands on the back of the head don't pull just use gravity Try not to collapse the chest. Release and roll it out. Loosen all of that up. And now I want you to just puff out your lips. Again. Little motor poke again. And then uh, getting the, um, what's that part called? Going your part of your thumb, the side of your thumb, into the jaw line and just let the jaw go slack and then run this down, run the um, thumbs down the side. Let's go right, let's do it again. Just let the jaw relax. And again. Relax. Puff out your um, cheeks. And relax. Puff out your cheeks. And relax. Scrunch up your face like you're um, kissing an ant. Relax, scratch up your face again like you're kissing your neck. Relax. One more time. Relax, and now, like you've had the biggest surprise ever, I want you to say, and make everything really big. Here we go. Uh, three times. Again. And again. Excellent. Now pump out your jaw, uh, your lips. All right. So um, look over 
towards the right side and um, just draw the flesh down from the ear down to the chest, hold it down and pack in your lips. Relax, over to the other side. Puff it out. Um, I want you to uh, <laughs> um, stick your tongue out and then uh, tuck your lips underneath your teeth if that makes sense and then squash down onto your tongue. We're going to uh, tap at the ends of our eyebrows, breathe into it, just tap, tap to the center of the eyebrow, breathe deeply, tap over to the ends of your eyebrows, just the edges of the eye socket. to the very, very edges, the sides, the corners of the eye socket. And then to the center, at the bottom of the eye socket, if you're looking forward, it could be in line with your pupils. And then drop down to the center of the cheeks, tap in there. And then move out to the side of your ears, the top bit where the ears join the face. If that makes any sense, tap in there. And then to the bottom part where the ears join your face, <laughs> the lobes. And then along the jaw, you can find it by letting the jaw go slack. And then down the jawline. Right up to the ears and down the jawline. Center of the um, uh, lip. Corners of the lips, center of the chin, <laughs> all over the face. Tap it all, eyes, all over the face. We're getting the circulation going and we're getting the muscles to relax. So if you feel any tenderness and tightness, soreness, tap along there because that's probably where there's some tension. Breathe deeply as you do this, and now I want you to massage your ears. Every single part of your ears. Just give them a little massage, a little squeeze. Inside as well. And that's where it feels so good. Give them a little tug as you do it. Don't forget the tragus, that little bumpy bit in the front of the ear. Your lobes. All of it. Give them a little, little pull, a little tug, and now tug and open out the jaw. Ah, relax, and then puff it out. And we'll do another wow. <laughs> See how your face feels. Pretty good, right? Now let's do it. Do the top of the face, top of the head, top of the face, top of the head. Tap. Tap right at the center. And then I want you to tap right through the center line of the skull, forward and back. And then all over. Not only will this release the tension and the face and the head, but it's also really good for the circulation of the skin. Make you look 10 years younger. And then we're going to drop our hand to the top of our opposite shoulder, press down, and then pull and release. Other side, drop, pull and release. And again, we'll do it three times on each side. Oh, pull and release. Pull and release. Pull and release, shake it out. Roll it all out, shake it all off. 
and we're going to stand up. <laughs> so come up to standing. And I want you to interlace the fingers behind you. And standing hip width apart, just draw the arms up, let the chest expand out. And you could use a strap here as well if you're super tight. Breathe into it if it's comfortable, drop the chin, soften the knees, soften the hips, and then release. And again, pull it out. And release. Pull it out, drop the chin. And release. Pull it out. And release. Let the arms swing free. And now we're going to inhale up. Let everything go. Inhale up. Let everything go. Inhale up. Let everything go. Inhale up. And then roll down. Hang. Little rag doll here. So grab hold of your shoulders and hang. And you can soften the knees as well as so we let the circulation come to our face. Let the spine lengthen, let the legs lengthen. Check out the head, yes and no. Make sure there's no tension in your shoulders, in your face, in your spine. Breathe. If you have high blood pressure or eye issues, then you want to be higher. And just lift the head above the heart and just let the body find its way here. You can shake out the head and neck there. But if you're comfortable here, hang on out. Just a gentle inversion here. Release the arms and then press through the feet. Roll your belly button to the spine. So gently roll up very, very slowly. Make sure you're pressing through the feet and drawing your belly button up so you don't feel anything in the spine there. And then gently, head comes up last. Inhale, take the hands up. Interlace your fingers, turn the palms up. Belly is in and rise up to your toes. Make sure you've got a dristy point, a focal point in front of you that you can look at. And exhale, release, lift my belly. Exhale, come down and inhale up. Exhale, release, bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, and exhale, halfway. You can soften your knees if you need to. Halfway, inhale, lift those shoulders to the sky. Look for length through the spine here, let the chest open, try not to drop the head or drop the body. Just look for your L shape. Breathe. Exhale, release the hands, and inhale, lift them again. Exhale, release the hands. Inhale, lift them again. And exhale, release. Release up. And shake it out. Soften the knees. Soften the legs. Soften the body. A little dynamic spinal twist. So just start to rotate around the waist. Hips, knees, ankles, nice and soft. Let your arms be completely free. So a lot of people tend to still hold tension in their arms here, but just let them flick around eventually. You might be able to look right behind you. And breathe it out. Okay. A few more, keep going. Close the eyes, relax the jaw, let it go slack, let the lips be parted. Just stand here, feel into the body, soften your knees. Gently, softly open your eyes. Come down to your knees. We're going to come into puppy pose. So, knees underneath the hips. You might need a blanket or a cushion or a block or something even more intense if your chest is uh, and your shoulders are quite tight. So you can bring your chest to something and you can bring the forehead to the ground and lift through the fingers for a little support. 
but you can let the fingers come down and you can let the chest come down and the chin open. And release, roll up to your tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Round the back, keep the body round up. Inhale, cat. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale up. Exhale, round. Inhale up. Exhale round, inhale up, and we are going to do a down dog here, inhale round, inhale up, tuck the top, exhale down dog, stretch it all out. If you are comfortable bringing the chest into the thighs, roll here and do that, if that's not comfortable for you, then draw that body up to meet the arms, then you've got your armpit, then draw to the face. And then release back down to your hands and knees. Roll out your shoulders, not your hands and knees, your knees, your shins, the dressing up. Roll it up, loosen through the neck again. Now we're going to uh, come into a comfortable position. If this is okay for you, stay here. If not, change your seat. Extend your arms, bring your left arm over the top of the right. Now if the backs of the hands don't touch comfortably, just hold your shoulders. Or you can twist them right around into eagle arms. Draw the shoulders up and out. If it's comfortable, you can look down, you can look up, you can extend. Just find what feels good for your body. Loosen, let go. Bring the hands behind you, interlace, open the heart. And release, loosen. Other arm, this time, lift over right. Again, you can bring the backs of the hands together and lift. You can bring the hands to the shoulders and pull out, or you can cross the arms and extend. Release the arms, roll it up, extend the arms behind you, expand. And release, loosen that up. Coming onto your belly. And we're going to extend our arms out to the side, so uh, into a T. Now if this pose doesn't actually work for you on the ground, then you can actually just Imagine there's a wall in front of me. Just take your arm to the wall and then walk your way to face the side. So this arm will be attached to the wall and then you get a stretch across the chest. But if you're happy coming down into a little um, broken wing pose, we're going to extend out through the arms. And um, I'm going to do my left arm first. So my left arm comes out, my right arm comes to my chest, push to the edge of my neck. I'm going to press through that right arm and take my right foot behind me. For some people that might not be comfortable, so if that's the case, you can just stay here with the knee in front and the hand in front. But if you're comfortable coming right over, you can have knees bent, you can have legs lifted. It just depends on how tight you feel through the pecs, through the shoulders. And you can also just stay straight. Just adjust the legs for whatever it is you need. Breathe into it. 
Those of you that are more flexible, you can bring your other arm out behind. Don't bend it, because that just defeats the whole purpose of the pose. Leave it hanging out there. It's better off keeping it in front than having it behind you there. If you need support for the head, you can actually have a cushion underneath the head here as well. And then release, come onto your belly. Just scoot over to the side, extend your right arm out, left arm towards your heart. And different people are going to be um, different on whether this extended arm turns open, palm up or down. My palm down feels more comfortable for me, but other students, their palms will naturally turn the other way. And that's okay. Just make sure you're not feeling um, any intense pulling or sharp shooting pain. So then just find the position that works best for you here. Support the head, support the shoulders, even if you need to. Or just use the wall in that easy variation. Very deeply. Now the sound's all happening now. It's getting louder. You can shut forward, but evidently there is no sound today as well. And then let go up. And onto your front and rest on your front. You can turn your head to the side, let the body drop. Turn your head to the other side. Come back to centre, clasp the hands behind you, inhale, lift into a, a little um, locust, sharp pose, and release. Lift and sink into a child's pose, preferably with your knees together. So you can turn into a little rock with your shoulders not down the sides. You know, it's okay if I'm for your sides to move with this person sitting down. Let everything relax. Relax your eyes, relax your face. So if you do have a lot of tension you find in your jaw and your face, be very conscious of throughout the day checking that your face is relaxed, your eyes especially in your jaw. Just soften the jaw, unglue the tongue from the top of your mouth, part the teeth slightly, and soften the eyebrows, soften the space between the eyebrows, relax the eyes. And when you think you've already done that, Check in and do it again and you'll be surprised that there's still some tension there that you can release out. Inhale, roll up and release out tightness, tension, roll it out. There's just one more thing I want to do with you because generally tight face, tight jaw, neck, chest um, is a holding in of emotions and um, here's a, a, a yoga pose that's just going to let it all out so make sure you're in a place where you feel like you can just, just go for it, let it out and I promise you'll feel so much better afterwards. So it's called the wood chopper's pose feet wide and we're going to be able to turn our uh, knees and our ankles out so that we can chop this piece of wood between our legs so you've got this big log that you're going to chop flex all of the things that you want out of your life on it grab your axe and we're going to inhale breathe in and I want you to just let it go like just let the sound out but I want you to just go for it, like scream it out if you need to. We're going to do a whole bunch of them. So here we go, inhale, and let it up, ha! and up, ha! and up, ha! and again, ha! and again, ha! and again, ha! two more, ha! really let it out.
now, if that didn't let it all out, then you need to do that again and just scream it out, let out all your frustrations, let it all go. So roll out, shake it out, shake it off. And there we are. Come back down and talk to Shake it off. And there we are. Hopefully that has helped you bring more breath into the body, bring more openness into the shoulders, the face, the neck, the heart. So take a lovely big deep opening. Expand out. Accept all of who you are and then wrap your arms around you. Breathe in love. Again, open out, let the heart open, soften the knees, and wrap the other way, and breathe in more love. Give yourself a big, well-deserved hug. Release out, and I want you to bring one heart hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, close your eyes. Smile. Just a gentle smile, soften your face, your eyes, your jaw. Smile into your heart space. Feel into your gut as well, your belly, your dung tien. This is where your fire is. Your drive, your passion, your enthusiasm, your creativity, your strength. And as you connect to your heart, your compassion, your gratitude, your love, your joy. Send all of those thoughts to you and say to yourself, I am enough. I am loved. I am loved. I am joy. I radiate joy. I am light. 